What's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody's doing great this Thursday because in a few moments you'll get to hear my thoughts and feelings on episode one of the limited TV series Women of the Movement. If you haven't seen the previews for the show then allow me to tell you what it's all about. The six part series will primarily focus on the story of Mammy Till Mobley who is the mother of Emmett Till and over the course of the series we as the audience will get to see Mammy Till Mobley dedicate her life to seeking justice for her son Emmett. The show is a six part episode series and the first episode was directed by Gina Prince Bythewood who you may remember as the director of such movies like Love and Basketball, The Secret Life of Bees, Beyond the Lights, and The Old Guard. So for the purposes of the review I will briefly recap the important parts of the episode followed by what I liked and disliked about the episode and what rating I think the episode deserves. So without any further delay, let's jump right in. The episode starts off in 1941, with Mamie alone in the hospital room as she's about to go into labor. The hospital staff overlook her cries until Mamie's mother shows up and brings some order to the situation. She gets the doctor who helps deliver Mamie's baby. And because Mamie's baby was breached, the doctor explains that the baby will have some health problems and will likely need to go to an institution. Mamie ultimately names the baby Emmett. We then go to Chicago 14 years later, and here we get to see Emmett having family dinner with his mother, mother's boyfriend Jean, Emmett's grandmother, and Uncle Mose. The family members seem to have great chemistry with one another, and all is going great until Uncle Mose invites Emmett to go to Mississippi with him for the summer. Emmett is thrilled at the idea of going to Mississippi, but Mamie and Emmett's grandmother know that Emmett isn't ready to face the Jim Crow South. It's during this part of the show where we get to see Mamie being overprotective of Emmett, and Emmett seems to be overprotective of her when it comes to Jean wanting to become close with her. Mamie ultimately allows Emmett to go to Mississippi, but she tries to warn him several times of the dangers of traveling south. You can see that Emmett hears her, but you can tell that the warnings aren't fully registering with him because after all, he's still a kid and he hasn't experienced the horrors of the South. As Emmett is riding the train with his uncle, it doesn't take him long to see how things are in the South. Now I can go on and on giving a beat by beat recap of the remainder of the episode, but the series of events that led to Emmett's murder are extremely disturbing and I feel that some things are better seen than only heard. In my opinion, any and every black parent with a son under the age of 18 needs to watch this episode with them because there were definitely some emotional and relatable scenes being shown. When the white men come to Uncle Moses house to kidnap Emmett, you can see and feel the horror that the real Emmett must have went through when it happened. When Mamie finds out something may have happened to her son, you can see and feel the pain that she may have gone through at that time. So there were a number of things that I liked about this first episode. First, I liked the acting performances across the board, but there were two that really struck out with me. Cedric Joe as Emmett Till, and Adrian Warren as Mamie nailed their performances out the park. An honorable mention goes to Glenn Turman as Uncle Mose. I was extremely pleased with the set and costume design as well as the musical score for this episode because it made me feel that I was transported in the 50s. I liked how the episode was able to flesh out the relationship between Emmett and his mother. And I also liked how the episode was able to show the strength that Mamie had when dealing with the possibility that Emmett may have been killed. Unfortunately, there was one thing that I did not like about this episode. This episode is two hours long and it's essentially longer than the runtime of your average movie. And because of that, it kind of feels like the episode is two episodes wrapped up into one, which not only created some pacing issues for me, but there was a lot of information to process in this episode as well. I will likely be watching this episode at least one more time to catch some of the things that I may have missed. But overall, on a scale of one to 10, I will give this episode a nine. Even though I wasn't a big fan of the pacing and the length of the episode, I thoroughly enjoyed the acting performances and the storytelling. This episode is one hell of an emotional roller coaster, and I appreciated having the opportunity to learn some new things about the Emmett Till story. So if you're thinking about watching the show, I would definitely recommend that you at least watch this first episode. It will likely make you cry or piss you off, but it's definitely worth a watch. Well folks, this marks the end of the review. If you want to leave a comment related to the review or the episode, then feel free to share them in the comment section below, and I'll be sure to reply to each and every one of them. Until next time, stay tuned and stay safe. Peace.